101. Stardom 101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. It's Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast here back on AHA Radio. Thank you guys tuning in to us weekly. And once again, Happy New Year. It's the first, first, first Monday uh, of the new year. And we are refreshing. We are excited. I got my guy, Glenn B. Jackson, the phenomenon is on the phone. What's going on with you, Glenn? How you feel, bro? I'm doing good. I'm blessed. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We do anything special for the uh, for the new year, anything like that? Uh, nothing really much. Kind of stayed in, you know, yeah. kind of reflect on the year. Um, uh, but also just yes, not yesterday, but two days ago, mm-hmm. I was one of the hosts for a, a pre Golden Globes party. Whoa! <laughs> what? Come again? Say that again? Golden Globes? Yeah, it was a pre Golden Globes party. Uh-huh. It was at the Sky Bar, and they had a red carpet. They had interviews. They had all kind of stuff. Yeah, did you uh interview anybody uh, anybody cool? Anybody you you yeah, left an impression on you? Uh I didn't interview anybody myself. Uh-huh. Um but I you know, I was one of the hosts. So there were the hosts that did interview and I just kind of you know, walked the carpet, was just talking to people and stuff like that, you know. Right. Nice, nice. Network, network, nurker. That's a good look. Look, starting the year off with a bang already. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. I know you got a new new uh Single out, man. Bomb. Let's talk about bomb. I think that's available on all platforms on stores right now. Um, you wear multiple hats. We're going to tap into each one of them. But as an artist, bomb, if you can elaborate on, first of all, what made you come up with the, that song and what is the song about? Okay. So actually, the song, I actually made the song like almost 10 years ago, like the beat. Whoa. Okay. So the actual. So the actual beat was uh, something I made 10 years ago. Then I revamped it, added some guitars, some different other things or whatever. And then I ended up creating the song, the actual song to it last year. Mm. And it's basically, you know, somebody that catches your attention, you know, you kind of, you know, feeling that person and, you know, it just, you think that person's bomb. So that's what the song's about. That's what's up. Did you um? Do you? I know most some people multi talented. Did you produce it, write it yourself? You know, some people work with other people. Um, the producer, anybody to um, produce a track, and uh, did you write all the lyrics yourself? How does that work when you composed it? So uh, I produced the track. I wrote the lyrics, performed the song. What? <laughs> and everything. Wow, wow. Multi talented. I think that's the new day and age artist right now. You got to do everything. And plus, you want to be in control, I think, of all your publishing. You know, you want to be in control of your master, your royalties, all that good stuff. Are you big on that type of stuff too? Not really, uh, you know, really staying the independent route uh, so you can have more versatility, you can have more uh, flexibility, uh, more control of your projects. Are you, are you more so independent or are you, you for the, the major route? Well, I kind of want to go the major route because you know, mm-hmm. you know, with the big label or the indie label, you have you kind of have that backing, and you have that machine behind you, kind of, mm. you know, yeah. pulling strings while you just kind of focus on just the creative part. That's a up. That's a up. That makes sense to me. Um, this movie, my friend, the Jackie, right? You playing? A uh, huge, the legendary baseball player Jackie Robinson and his biopic. I want to know how did you get cast for that, bro? Like, what what was the process? What are the steps? Who reached out to you? How did that go down? That's amazing. That's amazing. So uh, I did a self tape. They told me to read for a part, and then when I read for that part, they told me to like redo, um, to read for another part again. Mm-hmm. And it was like a, a self tape. You know, I kind of did it at home. And what I did was I did the on-camera part. I did the voice that was off-camera. And then I did the umpire's voice. Wow. And I put that all together and I submitted it. And, you know, I got the email about being Jackie Robinson. 
<laughs> did you uh, happen to meet any of the cast? Anybody talk to you? Did you guys meet in person? What was that? Anything besides the casting role? Well, yeah, like during the the whole filming process. Mm -hmm. um, just so you know, there's other like there's like there's Babe Ruth in there. There's Josh Gibson. There's Sasha Page. There's, wow. You know, there's all these other different baseball players from you know back in the day also in the film as well yeah that's what's up any uh, expected release date or projected release date are you guys just in the filming stage what kind of stage are you in right now for this biopic um they're in the starting process mm -hmm. of post-production we actually had the rap party yesterday oh yesterday yesterday wow yeah yesterday so they're in the starting process of post-production. And within the next few months, they'll kind of let everybody know what's going on. Nice, nice, nice. Now, how do you balance this? This is very intriguing for me. The military, your military background, a lot of people know, may not know. Yep. Um, you know, using <laughs> you're in the Army. So I'm like, wait a minute. How, how does that even go together? Like, can you break that down? Like, how do you balance it all? Uh, you know, the army, uh, at this point right now, it isn't too demanding right now. Mm -hmm. So I know eventually I got to go to DLC in February, but the army is like, you know, three days, to two days out of the month. And then I, you know, submit for acting roles and then on my extra time, I work on music. Wow. That's what's up, man. Do you prefer, um, like. Are you do you have longevity plans and that's to stay in the army? Is there like a, a a goal with that as well? Um to do enough time, retire early? Like um was that always the initial plan? Uh well I have like a year and a half left in my contract and I don't think I'll re up or anything. Mm -hmm. So after that, you know, I would, you know, I'll have all my benefits, full benefits like that. So I would just completely put everything into music and film. Well, I'm putting everything in it now, but like there'll sure. be less time to deal with that. Yeah, I see. I see. Any particular director you want to work with? I thought, like I said, I know you're in this huge, huge project now. Um, but is anybody you like? You know, there's so many great directors right now. Um, any in industry in, in the film industry? Anybody you particularly? Would love to to be in a role with them, working with Michael B. Jordan. Anybody? I mean, so many different people. Anybody you ever think about like that? I would like to work on a Jordan Peele film. Whoa! Can I ask you why? That's dope too. I see it. <laughs> it's, it's just all his films are bizarre, and this is like it's very weird. It's very like you know, like I, I like us. I like uh, Nope. Mm. Those are my two ones, like us and no. And then also that he always throwing these Easter eggs where yes. it makes you wanna go it make you go to the YouTube video because <laughs> there's something you missed. Yeah. And then after you go to the YouTube video, you wanna go back and rewatch the movie. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, he he's magnificent at those ones. I mean, his all his projects make you think. You're like, wait a minute, what? Then you gotta like watch it twice or three times, so you and then you catch little clips and stuff like, oh, that's what that means. So I think that's so cool. But yeah, that's a that's a dope selection. <laughs> right. Yeah. Any uh, actor, actress that you uh, respect, look up to, kind of pull inspiration from? Um, so many great ones in the industry, but uh, anybody that's like on your radar, you like really love the body of work. Well, it's two right now. So I've been watching a lot of 90s movies. So mm -hmm. Lawrence Fishburne in King mm -hmm. of New York and in, what's that one movie? Uh, Deep Cover. Whoa, classic. Those, great in those two movies. And then as far as Denzel, him and Ricochet. Whoa. And him and Devil in the Dress. Yes, yes, yes. Clyde, you're an iconic yes. film. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> right. They, they, they was a the guys back then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they still great, you know, now, but you talk about, you talk about classic, classic, in their prime. Literally. Right. <laughs> Do you ever foresee yourself? I know we down the line, you just getting started in your career. You ever see yourself potentially maybe directing some film, your own projects, getting your own production company? Um, maybe down the line, something you might think of? 
I don't, I don't, I don't know about directing. Maybe no. just, <laughs> you know, just for right now, just like sticking to acting, sticking to music. But it's of course the music. I want to be able to produce other people, other like. Let's say if I get, go down the line, and I get really, really big. I want to produce other people's stuff. I see. I see. That's what's up. Now, Bomb, I know, is a, a single. Is that a part of a a project, maybe an EP? Is that song a part or attached with something else, an album down the line? Can can fans anticipate that from you anytime soon or right now? You just, that's, Bomb is just literally a standalone single. Well, there's an EP. There's several projects that's already done. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bomb is, you know, the first single, and then I'll leave with the next one and then i'll just put out the full ep after that dope 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 many shows tours um are you big on like hitting the big stage uh performance uh giving the chance for your audience to really interact with you or you're more so uh in the studio really owning your crap tweaking um your delivery and everything else no i just as of right now i've just been really in the studio i've had an opportunity in the past to uh, perform and I didn't go all the way through with it because I'm just kind of really just focused on making what I already have better. That's what's up, man. I read, and this is a cool fact, you can solve a Rubik's Cube in a few seconds. Now, is that true or is that cap? What's what's going on? Is... <laughs> it's, it's true. What? <laughs> it, it's true. I have, a, I have a video on my Instagram. and you know, right? uh, Yeah. Oh, snap. you know, look, this is the age of receipts. They go, you know, they go after this episode, they're gonna go right to the grand. <laughs> they go go to the grand. Right. <laughs> Anybody teach you that, or is that something you just I mean, is your mind is like it relaxes you? Like, what does that do for you to root cute? Um, I kind of learned that and like I watched a video on it and then I like learned it in like two days. She she's YouTube, and YouTube. Then, but I'm of course. Of course, uh, yeah, you know, YouTube University. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody, right? But, but of course, when I when you first do it, it's like, okay, it's three minutes, and then you get it down to two minutes, uh-huh. one minute, okay, five seconds. And then it's like, you have to learn new algorithms. That's what's up. And the more you know, the faster you can be. Wow, the day and age of algorithms. <laughs> I tell you, man. Uh, how big are, uh, is education um, for you, Glenn? Um, literally, I know you graduated distinguished on it for the highest grade average, you know, in your class in the military. Uh, do you outside, do you do, uh, collect any literature, books? Do you soak your brain into any piece of knowledge, information to keep your brain sharp? Yeah, uh, I basically, I watch, I listen to podcasts, mm-hmm. like, you know, self-help stuff. Uh, uh, there's another uh, book is uh, uh, 48 Laws of Power mm-hmm. I've like read that twice oh, oh. and there's just a few other things I'm not uh, I'm not a super big reader but if it's mm-hmm. like in a pot it's like a audio book version of it then yeah I'll, I'll listen to it and go along with it that's what's up, man. Now, do you engineer for other people, or you just certainly an engineer for yourself as a sound engineer? Uh, as of right now, uh, I engineer for myself. That's what's so up for the first time in my life. Wow! But I wouldn't to work with anybody. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, we can't wait to see you and see it in this biopic, man. It's going to be legendary. I mean, literally, your name is going to be everywhere in the headlines. You're paying a, a legendary uh, baseball player in Jack, Jackie Robinson, man. Congratulations on that. Once again, that biopic. We can't wait to that drop, man. That's going to be amazing. And um, last but not least, uh, Glenn, any last public thank yous you want to give to your team, your management crew, your family, your mom, parents, anybody that's played a, a huge, significant role in your success? Uh yeah, I'd like to thank uh say thank you to Diana Liner for Liner Entertainment. Uh thank you to my mom and dad, you know, all my family and friends, anybody that supported me, you know, anybody that left my side, thank you to got you guys too. 
That's what's up. You know, thank you to everybody. <laughs> it's Glenn B. Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you for tapping into another dope episode of Music Matters featuring this phenomenon. This gentleman is doing amazing things out here. Glenn, we can't wait to see you on that screen, brother. I'll tell you, I'm excited, man. <laughs> I'm excited too. That's what's up. It's the One Old Magazine podcast here on iHeartRadio, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for another dope episode. Peace. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804-550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. You're listening to the Stardom 101 Magazine podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode, and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.